The Road to GH reveals, after Sam's death, the Davis family drowns in grief and loss. The Davis family is engulfed in immense sorrow following Sam's passing, each member feeling the profound void she left behind, a wound no solace can mend. Christina and Molly, Sam's close sisters, struggle to accept the harsh reality, while their mother, Alexis, strong as she's always been, finds herself unable to hold back tears when reminiscing about memories with her daughter. Every corner of the house seems to echo Sam's radiant smile and warm voice. The Davis family knows nothing will ever fill this void, and Christina and Molly are trapped in grief, unable to stop blaming each other for Sam's death. Both carry deep guilt, believing that if the other had been more adamant, Sam wouldn't have risked her life to donate part of her liver to Lulu. These resentments slowly turn into conflict, pushing the sisters' relationship to a breaking point. As they can't shake the thought that the liver donation was the cause of this tragedy, their blame and sorrow deepen the family's rift, creating a gap that nothing could ever bridge. As for Alexis, the pain of losing her daughter has left her utterly shattered and lost. Once a steadfast and resilient woman, Alexis now wallows in grief, plagued by questions about what led to Sam's death. She starts searching for someone to blame, from the doctor's decisions to her own family, hoping to find some explanation for this unbearable loss. This self-torment and despair lead Alexis into a haze, caught between reality and emotion, her deeply wounded heart unable to bear the harsh truth. Lulu recovers well and finally awakens after the challenging liver transplant. As she opens her eyes, Lulu feels weak but deeply moved, realizing she's been given a second chance at life. However, her relief is quickly replaced by painful shock upon learning of Sam's death, the very person who sacrificed to save her. A blend of guilt and sorrow consumes Lulu, leaving her in tears, unsure how to face this reality. In her fragile state, Lulu feels both gratitude and the unbearable pain of loss. The Davis family enters Lulu's hospital room, carrying an atmosphere so heavy it feels suffocating. They don't say a word, yet their resentment and grief are clear in their expressions. Alexis stands at the front, her face hardened with silent fury. Christina and Molly follow behind, their eyes cold, unable to hide their loss and anger. To them, Lulu is no longer family, but the cause of their tragedy, a painful reminder of their irreparable sorrow. Lying weakly in her hospital bed, Lulu feels each heartbeat like a weight trying to pull her under. As her gaze meets their cold, angry faces, Lulu is overwhelmed with horror and guilt. She understands that, to the Davis family, her survival is a profound betrayal, the price they paid in losing Sam forever. Each of their stares cuts into Lulu's soul, making her feel suffocated by guilt and helplessness. The Davis family unleashes their resentment, their harsh words creating an unending nightmare for Lulu. She feels like a criminal surrounded by invisible judgments, each sin etched deep into her fragile heart. At that moment, Lulu realizes her life will never be the same. She must now live with the guilt of this borrowed life, facing isolation and silent hatred from those she once cherished. After they leave, Lulu is left with a terrifying emptiness. She is no longer a loved one, but a living memory of the Davis family's pain, a survivor eternally trapped in the hell of regret. She knows nothing can ease the pain she has caused, and from now on, her existence will be a daily living reminder of pain for both herself and Sam's family. Following relentless physical and emotional attacks, Lulu's health begins to decline rapidly. At first, she tries to stay strong, refusing to let the Davis family's critical gazes and accusations shake her resolve. But the pressure intensifies, and each encounter with Sam's family brings more silent reproach and resentment. The accumulating guilt and tension feel like a silent wave, gradually destroying her frail health. In only a few days, Lulu's condition deteriorates significantly. She starts showing unusual symptoms, frequent insomnia, exhaustion, and erratic heartbeats. What seemed minor quickly turns severe. One morning, Lulu suddenly falls into shock. Her body trembles, her breathing becomes labored, each breath a sign of her draining vitality. Her face pales, her lips turn blue, and her heartbeat races frantically, alarming the doctors and nurses. The medical team rushes to perform emergency procedures. Nurses and doctors work swiftly to stabilize her heartbeat and support her breathing. The medical equipment operates non-stop, and the warning beeps signal Lulu's worsening condition. 
Outside her room, her family and friends stand frozen with worry and fear, realizing that Lulu's situation is teetering on the thin line between life and death. Amid the chaos, Lulu lies motionless, her face etched with pain and torment. It seems that the prolonged stress and negative emotions have overwhelmed her health. Each passing minute drains her chances of survival, leaving everyone in utter despair and anxiety.